continues on Southeast Texas Weekly. I'm Kevin Steele. So great to have you with us here to talk politics. Let's get back at it, if you would. Will Robbins with the State Republican Executive Committee here for a first time. Great Thanks to have you, me. man. Wow, fantastic. Great friend and uh, great to have you here uh, on this show. And Michael Lindsay, always a, a pleasure to talk with. Uh, the, uh, the the author of several books, uh, that, and, and, and we'll just leave it at that. It's good to be here. <laughs> All books of the Bible, by the way. All right, let's, let's get into this matter of, uh, of, of the nuclear deal. When you heard the previous conversation, what, what sparked a, 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 you know, some kind of uh, emotion from you? Do you believe this administration is, 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 is dealing fairly with the American people in terms of the information uh, a, about what we plan to try to broker with the Iranians, and uh, do they? Does the administration owe us anything uh, by way of that information? I begin with you, Michael. Well, I, I think the first thing is the the president is solely empowered to deal with foreign powers mm -hmm. and enter into arrangements and negotiate foreign deals. Mm -hmm. uh, we're working with five other superpowers around the world to attempt to broker a deal and put something together, and I think it'd be premature to leak the agreement to the American public at, at this time until we have some type of an agreement in place uh, with our foreign partners. Well put. Do you think it's a good it's a good deal uh, if, if in fact these leaked published reports are true that uh, that the Iranians will still be allowed to have some centrifuges underground? Do you think it's a good deal? Does that negate the you know the well, you know, the, I guess ultimately the uh, uh, the plan there is to keep Iran from having a, a weaponized you know, nuclear program. I, I would say I think the world's a safer place with an agreement than without an agreement. Any agreement. I, I didn't mean to go quite that far. <laughs> but, but hopefully, uh, I, I think an agreement makes the world a safer place. Without an agreement, I think it's, it's likely that one or more uh, nations are going to uh, bomb the Iranian facilities, yeah. either with conventional or nuclear weapons. Has this administration dealt uh, fairly with Iran? Or ha have they been too sympathetic to the Iranians so far in, in many of the conversations we've, we've had with them over the nuclear program? In your view, Will? I think definitely when you compare them to especially previous administrations of, of either political party, they've definitely been much more friendly with the Iranian people, much more so than in the past. What do you think of this deal? Um, I'm very iffy about it. You know, we, we've seen lots of broken promises already, not necessarily with this deal, but, you know, I, I think back to if you like your insurance, you can keep your insurance. And so how do, how do we know that we're going to have an administration that if this deal does have mechanisms in place, which we don't know because we haven't seen the official mm. thing, but if it does have mechanisms in place to say, this is what we're going to do to prevent you from getting that weapon, well, how do we know that's well, going to get actually taken care and of. And if this deal doesn't work, your policy doesn't go up, uh, a dirty bomb goes off in Houston at the, at the ship channel or something. So it's, it, it's you know, arguably a, a, an even bigger deal. Let's move forward to uh, the U.S. Uh, Fifth Circuit Court decision to go ahead and hear whether the hold on the president's deferred, uh, deferred deportation of five million uh, undocumented immigrants, uh, does that mean the fact that the Fifth Circuit took it up does that mean that they are likely to uh, 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 overrule what uh, the South Texas federal judge uh, put in place, a hold on this matter? My answer would be I think the fact they took it up isn't an indication whether they're going it's to not. accept or reject by itself. And I think it's important to remember that the Fifth Circuit is one of the more conservative courts circuits in the country. Hmm. And I think one thing to look at it, and I agree, I don't think it indicates if they're going to um, overturn or not because one thing that they took up it's just the um, Obama administration's appeal not mm -hmm. the appeal it's the um, re removing the hold you know, so see. it's not yeah. actually a decision uh -huh. itself but I think holding those oral arguments on 26 it shows them right yeah 26 26 of the states yes. say that they will suffer irreversible economic harm if this injunction is lifted will they or is that is that uh, so much political rhetoric? I seem to I, I believe that they will. One, I think it, it negates any political rhetoric. The fact that we've got Republican states and Democratic states that have um, filed signed onto this lawsuit. Not only are they in the South, they're in the North, they're in the East, they're in the West. It, it makes up a broad range of the country. And when you start dealing with you know saying essentially we're not going to enforce our immigration laws. Come on in. You know, 20, it's going to hurt yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. When 26 U.S. Attorney Generals start saying, listen, we might be ir ir irreversibly harmed economically by a, a deal like this, 
why why is it that the administration doesn't he listen to you know the objections concerns of half the nation my question would be a little different and that is why are 50 states and 15 million people continuing to suffer because our Congress can't work together and put together some kind of platform and position as to what immigration, immigration is and, and while we're at it one question I'd like to know is what is sealing the borders apparently we have to do that before we're going to take the next step and that hasn't been defined in the last six years. What so would I satisfy think, you as far as sealing the borders? That seems to be, yeah, you, you, what, what you're personally, saying Personally, personally, I think we've done a fantastic job, and I think the levels are back to where they were in about 1971, 1973. I think we're going to talk about sealing the borders. It has to include a, uh, by definition, it cannot include a definition that prevents any drug activity across the borders. They're well done, never going to stop that. Well done. We appreciate the both of you. Ted Cruz is going to be president. He says he wants to be. We'll talk about it when we come back.